been here? Uh, so just eight years uh, last week and uh, yeah, we took over from the old custodian back in 2008. Mm -hmm. And why the name Britain? Was that? Um, it was an old name that's been around in Birmingham for a long time, mm -hmm. we think probably the 60s and it's kind of been passed around. Um, so there's been quite a few practices but now we're the only one uh, with that name at the moment. So you decided to stick with that name? We did, course. we did. So what makes your um, optician any different than another optician? That... I, I suppose there's two or three things which make us stand out. A, the frames. I think that's probably the, the, one of the big things. We, we stock a lot of frames that you can't get anywhere else. Uh, in the West Midlands, two or three brands that we've got that, that do that for us. And what brands do you have? Um, so the brands that you might have heard of, have got Ray-Ban and Bulgari. They're probably kind of high street names. Um, and then some of the other brands that you won't have heard of um, from around Europe, we've got a French brand called Fassa Fass, a German brand called Mykita, um, and a few Danish brands, Pro Design, All Green, Lindbergh. We seem to be a little bit Danish heavy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Is that, was that kind of your intention though, Matt, just to make sure you were a little bit different and have unique frames? Yeah, I think it's, it's not necessarily just going out and finding yeah, strange countries in Europe. Yes. Brands, but they, um, it's uh, about kind of finding what serves our customers best, and and those are the brands that we think can uh, give us that breadth mm -hmm. of design and um, and quality that we'd like to deliver to people. Now you've obviously got all this beautiful array of sunglasses, some of which are behind us here. <laughs> but as an optometrist, tell us about that because you obviously you, you're skilled and qualified in yeah. looking at people's eyes. Yeah. Yes. So that's, that's the yes. point. Yeah, yes. So. Um, yeah, no, that was the other side of it. So trying to get, um, I think a lot of the time people are, um, the experience of having their eyes tested and looked after isn't probably what we thought was, was kind of the right way of doing it. So we, we spend time with people and get to know them and any of their issues to, uh, and also spend more time, um, up to 40 minutes with people to find out that we can get the right uh, vision and the right prescription for their eyes, but also making sure that their, their eyes are as healthy as they should be.